Sometimes you want to suspend automation. You do not want the automation playing back. And you can do it at three levels. You can do it for a specific type of automation on a track. You can do it for the entire track. And you can do it for all automation across all tracks. To start with, you can turn off automation for any parameter by command clicking that parameter. And now it will be disabled. So let's pull up our fader for volume. And watch what happens when I have my automation on. So my panning is going and my volume changes are going. Now I'll command click and we'll do the same thing. Watch the fader and watch the panning. So the fader didn't move because I have turned off temporarily volume automation. It's not reading that back. But the panning still moved because that one is still active. I could turn off that one too if I want. And command click turns it back on. Now if I want to disable all automation for a track, I simply go from read mode to off. And now nothing will be played back. Watch this. So nothing is affected. And then finally, if I want to suspend all automation across all tracks, I simply click the suspend button in my automation window. And you'll notice everything is italicized. Everything is disabled. Now sometimes you don't want to turn off automation, but you do want to freeze it or lock it or prevent someone, including yourself, from accidentally overriding it. And to do that, we have safe buttons. There are three safe buttons. The first is on the fader. It's right here. And if I put this in safe mode, I can't overwrite panning and volume. Let me show you. I'll enable volume and panning in my automation window. I'll put this in touch mode. And now I will move the fader. Nothing got written. So that's really nice. I play with this, see what I like to maybe automate again, but I don't have to worry about overwriting what I have. So that's one safe button. The second safe button is on the sends. Let's go back to our mixer here, and I'm going to turn off the target button for my fader, pull up the send fader, and you see the send fader has a safe button as well. So if I've automated the send, and in my case I have, if I put this in safe mode, I won't be able to override it. And you see it's completely different from the safe mode for the fader. And finally, there's a safe mode on each plugin that you add. Let's pull up, for example, this compressor. This is a waves compressor, and there in green is the safe button. If I've automated any parameters in this plugin and I click safe, I can't accidentally overwrite those parameters. So safe buttons are great if you've worked hard on automation and you don't want to accidentally override it. Maybe you want to play with different parameters without writing the automation. You can put it in safe mode until you figure out what you wanted to do and then take it out of safe mode and write your new automation.